Hi folks, Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, a couple weeks ago, my friend in Korea was asking me that uh, his phone, he has a Note 2, by the way, which I rooted for him a couple of months ago when I was in Korea. Uh, he told me that he couldn't run any of his uh, banking apps um, because it would check for root on his phone. And basically, he was furious that I rooted his phone and he couldn't do banking online with his phone. I can't do banking on my phone anymore! I hate you! I'm not getting high on Android anymore! <laughs> Don't worry, folks. You can still get high on Android and have a rooted phone and run apps that check for root. Let me go show you how to do this. Let's go this, baby. <sighs> Hi folks, so let me go ahead and show you that Isis Wallet uh, doesn't work on my phone, which is one of the apps that checks for root, which kind of sucks because, um, you know, you can't use it. Uh, but there is a way, so let's go ahead and download. Go ahead and type on your browser, Exposed Installer on Google, all right? And you'll come to this site, uh, you'll find a site called Exposed Installer. Go ahead and go there and download the latest version if you scroll down you should be able to see the download link here. So go ahead and click on that. That will download the latest version. Um, say OK. And then next type exposed uh, root cloak. Like that. And you'll find this site called root cloak exposed module exp uh, exp repository. Go ahead and scroll all the way down. Um, it will list some of the apps that they've already tested working. All right. Uh, and it should work on most apps. And uh, go ahead and go to download here. Go ahead and download the root cloak APK file. Say OK if it does ask you. Uh, most phones probably won't ask you. I don't know, my AT&T Galaxy S5 has some weird checks. Um, once it's downloaded, go ahead and simply click on the first one, the exposed installer. All right. And here, um, if, if you get some kind of error, you can use uh, like a file explorer, uh, such as my files or uh, on the Play Store, you can get this app called ES File Explorer and go into your download folder. You can find the downloaded fi files there also uh, if you get some error. Go into settings and uh, make sure your unknown source is checked on. Hit OK. Install Expose Installer. All right, hit the back button. Oh. And then go and click on the, the next one, the root cloak APK file. I'll go to settings again unknown sources on um, you can actually uncheck this if you don't if you want to just do it all the time uh, that might actually be better just so it won't ask you next time um, oh I now I lost it so now I'm gonna actually go back to my files here uh, go to your download folder you'll be able to find the file again here I believe it's that one yes root cloak go ahead and install all right, next, you're going to go ahead and open up the exposed installer that you just installed the app here. All right, and go to framework and hit OK. Hit install update and I'll make sure you hit grant when you see super user request. Um, don't reboot yet, so it's going to ask you to reboot. Cancel. Go hit there, go to modules. Uh, check root cloak on like that and then reboot all right and when that's rebooted you'll be able to disable root um, checking for any apps that you don't want them checking for root uh, I think this is great there's also I know in Korea there's a um, when I go to Korea I use banking apps and a lot of banking apps um, actually a friend of mine in Korea actually called me the other day because I gave him a rooted note too he's like I can't use any banking apps, but I want to keep root. Um, so you can use this app on banking apps uh, and it should work very well. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Now it's rebooted. Uh, next, what you'll have to do is go to root cloak here, all right? And uh, go to add remove apps, all right? And go ahead and add the app you want. Hit the plus button here and go find the app and add it. All right, so I'm gonna go. It might, it might sometimes it might have a bunch of letters, um, but the ISIS wallet. Uh, there's already uh, pre-included apps here. Uh, it's already included here. Um, you'll see ISIS M client AT and T and also ISIS uh, Verizon. So those are included already. Uh, but if it's not in this list, you can go ahead and add it there. And that's all you have to do. 
All right. Next, I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, ICE's wallet, and it should now bypass uh, the root check. And there you go. Now, it's actually still not going to work because I don't have the enhanced uh, SIM card, which ICE's wallet um, uh, requires. But now you can actually run the app, um, and I still get to keep root. Uh, so that's pretty much it. And I hope this helps you run apps that check for root. And uh, you know you can give them the middle finger next time you know it, they tell you no, and then you just install this app and um, you should be good to go. And thanks guys for watching this video. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And as always, stay on Android.